Hey guys, this is Tato Leong and in this video, I will show you another 10 magic tricks that you can do in Dora 2. Number 1. Imagine you have to go to the toilet in the middle of the game. Since we are playing a toxic game, it is very likely that your enemy and your teammates unpause the game when you disconnect. Thus, to maximize efficiency, get agonyms on Monkey King, keep a little distance and you can take Roshan when you are AFK. Happy thing. Number 2. Sometimes you learn from mistakes and sometimes you learn from experience. But this trick, I learned from an accident. Just like buildings and heroes, you can frost armor couriers and wards. Magic. Number 3. Lincoln's and Lotus Orb are some of the main counters to Bat Rider because you're gonna have trouble lassoing targets. Aghanim Scepter allows Bat Rider to lasso two targets and the bounce lasso can bypass both Lincoln's and Lotus, meaning that if you lasso a creep beside the target, you can get off the lasso despite the Lincoln's and Lotus. Aghanim Shard allows Bat Rider to lasso an ally target, and if you combine these mechanics together, you can use a courier and get off lassos in the fog of war even against Lincoln's users. Number 4. On my previous magic show, I showed you guys how to do the spear into arena. The key there was to keep a certain distance away from the target and not be too close. On this magic show, you can do this. If you spear a target towards a tree and rebuild instantly, the target will get stunned in front of you without pinning to the tree. This is pretty useful when the trees are pretty far away and you don't want to waste precious stun duration walking towards the stun target. Magic. Number 5. Agonim's Ayo with the level 15 spirit ball ranged talent can be used to scout your surroundings as you make plays on the map. However, if you are making aggressive plays during the night time, your balls can be spotted by the enemy if they have vision of you and you will be in a disadvantage if you do not have vision of them. In that case, you can use the smoke to hide dumb balls and let dumb balls do the scouting. Number 6. For all you fountain farmers out there, this is going to be good. When you are moving diagonally up the ramp of the fountain, you can get a glimpse of vision inside the fountain without getting hit by the fountain. And if you stop right there, you get to see inside the fountain without getting hit at all. The key is to move bit by bit horizontally until you find the magic spot. Number 7. Koi is one of the most broken catch spell in the game. Aghanim's Koi goes through BKB and most of the time, once you're caught, you're f***ed. But here is the cheapest and easiest way to deal with that. Get a new scepter, move to the edge of the Koi, use, and you're free. Magic. Number 8. Nietzsche's Prophet is one of the heroes that have no stun but you can use creativity to keep your target in place. I'm sure you have seen some sick body blockings with the trends to kill off a target but here is how you can completely trap a target within the trends. First, you will need to have the select or other unit hotkey. Then use Sprout into Nature's Call. Make sure to click exactly in the middle of the Sprout when you do the summons and in most cases, you can trap the target right from the get-go. If you don't click directly at the middle, you can see that the trend spawn doesn't really surround the target perfectly. One way to do it perfectly is to use Nature's Call exactly where you press Sprout without moving your cursor. Sometimes you might get unlucky with the spawn and if that's the case, tap on the select or other unit hotkey and adjust the trends. Now, your target is trapped. Magic. Number 9. The purpose of this tip is to let you know that this is possible and not encourage you to pick techies. When the remote mines are not directly stacked together, some of the mines damage can be avoided. But there's a way to perfectly stack all the mines together at one specific location. First off, bind the remote mine to a hotkey. For example, my control group is number 2. Hold control at number 2 on the remote mines so now the key number 2 is bind to the remote mine. Click on the remote mine, press the bind key, in this case number 2, then click exactly on the portrait of the mine. This will stack the remote mines directly on top of one another.
magic. Number 10. I'm sure that you have been in this situation where your lion can't reach for a stun and someone makes a that's what she said joke and you feel like slapping the living crap out of that person. The best way to actually prevent this joke is to click on the ground when you're too far away for a stun. Lion's impale has a longer ground target range compared to the point target. Magic. Many of you have asked me how to do this spinning on the ground thingy. For those of you that know, comment below with the wrong answers only. For the rest of you that want to know, I'll let you know in the next video. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. If you enjoyed my little content, do hit the like, share, subscribe, blah, 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 and I'll see you in the next video.